What is up my fellow budget travelers? Today I'm taking you to Punta Cana in Dominican Republic where I got to try some amazing food like sweetbreads. Have you ever tried that? And I got to drink out of a coconut. So if you're watching this video because you're going to be staying at the Grand Palladium Punta Cana, you are in for a treat. Or if you're just following along on my journey for the ride, you're going to love this week away. So check this out. As soon as you land in the Dominican Republic, you're going to be hit in the face with just a wave of warmth island air. I swear you can smell the ocean from anywhere on this island. You're going to love the upbeat music, which is going to follow you throughout the week. Even your shuttle driver will probably be playing some good Dominican music. When I landed at the resort, they gave me a nice cool towel to kind of cool you off from your travels. They also give you a welcome drink, which I love. This one had like a hibiscus in it. And you guys know me, we went straight to the bathroom to change to get ready to go to the pool and drop our bags. But first, you need to take a welcome shot of Mama Juana to get you ready for the pool. We looked around until we found our perfect spot and it happened to be at this first pool that we walked up to. After an hour or two, we started to get a little hungry and it started to kind of drizzle a little bit. So we headed over to the beach buffet, which was right on the water, it was so pretty. Then it was time to go and check in, so we went ahead and headed over to the room. They gave us a little golf cart ride there with all of our luggage and everything. And guys, these rooms were awesome. We were on the second floor, so we had a balcony and it overlooked this little monkey guy and he kind of became our mascot for the trip. By this time, it was probably around like four o'clock or so. So we went back down to explore the resort and see all that it had to offer. We found these really cool pathways where they had little tiki huts. And they also had little tiki huts down by the pools. So we found a pirate ship, explored some of the greenery, and then we found the best spot in the whole resort. And this is why I always say, guys, you have to explore the whole resort, even if you already found a spot, because you never know there could be a better spot. And while we were exploring, there was a wedding going on. So it was so cool to see a wedding and then the sunset was going down. It was just such a beautiful first day. So now we were ready to go back and get ready because it was time to get some food. At check-in, we had told her that it was our birthday and they gave us a cake. We couldn't believe it. That was so cool to come back to the room and see. So then it was time to go and have some dinner. And the first night we went to this spot that had this porcina, I think it was called. I've never just seen a pork leg getting fresh sliced like that. And then we had a little bit of everything. Most of our dinners went like this. We just got a whole spread and shared everything. And then we saw these little geckos and things and the turtles were out and we saw a light in the distance. So we went over to explore and it turned out they had karaoke before the show. So guys, these shows were so good at the Grand Palladium. You'll have to check it out. I have a whole video on them because that's how good they were. They have such good entertainment and every night after every show, there's always live entertainment. So yeah, we definitely slept hard <laughs> that first night, but as always, I got up early to go and explore some more and the views were just so pretty without anybody else around. Whenever I stay at an all-inclusive resort, I love the fresh juice. This is a must. The fresh fruit is so good. And I always kind of like mix and match the juices to make my own little cocktail. And Dominican coffee, guys, I highly recommend it. As we headed back to our new favorite spot, as if it couldn't get any better, we found a guy with coconuts and we gave him a few dollars and he gladly opened one up for us. It was so good. But now I want to introduce you to the gem of the whole trip. This was our spot. They had hammocks in the middle of the pool. The bar was right there. They had a whole little shallow area. Our spot was right here, so it was really easy pool access. We could just jump right in right there. There was plenty of shade, plenty of sun. When I say this was the perfect pool, I mean, look at it. What could be better than this, guys? And they had a swim up bar. So yeah, day two was definitely one of my favorite days on this trip. We also discovered a beach snack bar where they had ice cream and pizza and all kinds of snacks here. Basically anything you could want, they had. So this was our like dream location at the pool. And look at all these flowers. Like this place was so magical and all the palm trees, you know I'm a sucker for a palm tree. So after a long day at the pool, it was time to have dinner. 
So we went to the Italian spot this night and this food was so delicious. I mean, this tiramisu, it was just like chef's kiss, so good. And this chocolate panna cotta. And this area was right next to the ocean. So it was really nice to kind of have a drink, listen to the ocean waves at night when nobody else is there. And we also explored that night and just kind of walked around the resort. It's so peaceful with all the like frogs chirping and stuff like that. It's just such a vibe. We were tempted to go swimming, but uh, we were in dresses and stuff. So we were like, nah, we're good. Let's just head for the show. And this night was like a rock and roll theme. And it was really funny because she just like head banged the whole time. It was really fun. On day three, just when I thought I had discovered all the parts of the resort, I found a new buffet. Apparently they have like six buffets here. <laughs> it's crazy. So I went over there for breakfast and oh my gosh, the food was divine. I'm saying this trip, I ate so much food. It was so good. <laughs> And this buffet was near the main pool. So check out this pool, guys. It has like a whole stage. There's seats in the water, the swim up bar. I mean, this was early morning, probably like around 10 or so. But this swim up bar, every time I saw it after that, it was like packed, packed. Since it was still early in the day, I just kind of kept exploring to go to the other resorts that are inside the whole Grand Palladium complex. We had stayed over on the Bavaro side. This one was closer to the Grand Palladium Palace side and they have a little like shops in there with all kinds of souvenirs. So it was fun to kind of just window shop and see what kind of things they have to offer in the Dominican Republic. I ended up just getting my standard magnet for the memories. And even though this resort is like sprawling, it is so big, I ended up walking most of the time. So I rarely took the train from lobby to lobby, but it was really convenient that they had that as an option, especially at night when you're kind of tired of walking around. But generally, I just kind of explored and walked around. So here is the Punta Cana side of the resort. This was the first time I had ventured out to kind of start exploring the lobbies. And one thing that I really loved as a girl, you know, we love our photo opportunities and the Grand Palladium had so many photo opportunities. I have pictures from all over this resort. And this is when I found out that they actually do dance lessons right over here in this open area space. So they have a bar set up and everything. And at night they have dance lessons. So we had to come back. But first, you know, I had to get that good old pool time. So we headed over to another pool, even though we ended up going back to our favorite spot, but we still got to explore it a little bit. We also went down to the beach just to see what was going on down there. And they have a number of bars scattered throughout the beach over here. But since it was such a beautiful day, we decided to skip the shade and just stay in the sun over by the pool. I do want to note that by this time, since I had gotten up so early, I was probably on maybe my 10th coffee of the day, but I love that they had little coffee machines at the snack bar. So it was really easy to get coffee. And over by our favorite spot, they had a whole barbecue down at the beach. We couldn't believe it when we made it back over there. I mean, look at this paella and all this fresh fruit. It was so good. It really is just like the pictures. It was such a great day. And just side note, guys, like I had just said, it is exactly how it looks like. There's no Photoshop. I'm not using any filters or anything. This was just all straight up beautiful skies, beautiful beaches, beautiful pools. The photos you see online look exactly like reality. They even have a beach swing here. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is amazing. That night, a storm blew in, guys, and you're not going to believe this, but the power went out. So the thing with islands, right, is they have these power grids and a lot of times when it's a big storm, the electricity will go out for like an hour or something, but it will come back on. But it just so happened to happen while we were eating. So it was really funny because the waiters had little light up trays for the drinks and everything. So you kept seeing these like drinks go past all lit up. But here's us with our flash on trying to show what some of the food and drinks look like. But yeah, there was no power. It was pretty crazy walking around the resort. We ended up leaving to go to the buffet to see if they had any food because we figured it would be a while for our food to come out at the place that we were at. And the buffet had plenty of food left still. So we ended up just eating And of there. course the power did come back on just in time for the live entertainment. So we went over to the Punta Cana where we had seen they have dance lessons and things. 
and we explored over there. They had this really pretty like love bridge thing, which was really cool. And they had a bunch of statues and things over on this side that tells the history of the resort and stuff like that. And we spent the rest of the night just learning how to dance and we danced the whole night away. It was so much fun. On day four, we woke up and it was still storming outside. So unfortunately, this was kind of a dreary day, but it was actually really cool to see because the birds were all flying around like crazy, eating all the bugs and stuff that was above our heads. And a lot of the flowers started blooming. It was really pretty. And it kind of cast an eerie light on the whole resort. And it made you feel like you were at a whole different resort. I don't know how to explain it, but it just did. <laughs> like even if you could just compare the beach now versus if you rewind and watch the clips from earlier, I don't know, it was really cool. And you can see the rain did not stop anybody from having an amazing time walking down the beach and everything. And it was really fun to see how big the waves were getting and how much further onto shore they came. And it was never storming storming, it was just kind of drizzly and rainy. And now I realize why those tiki huts were there. It's to mostly protect you from the rain and the sun. No water is getting through that. Then it was time for dinner and this is when I tried sweetbreads for the first time. And I realized I have a new favorite food. Sweetbreads are delicious. <laughs> they taste like chicken nuggets. For dinner, we had these huge steaks. They were so good. The chimichurri sauce was just like chef's kiss, delicious. And they had a little mariachi band that was going around serenading people. After dinner, we headed over to the lobby bar and you can't really tell, but it was actually raining into the water here at different points throughout the night. So that was pretty cool to see. And then it was time for the show. It was the white party. It originally was supposed to be down by the beach, but because of the weather, they had to move it indoors. But this was so cool. I mean, this was like a dancing robot. They had fire performers. It was an amazing show. And then after the show, we headed over to the nightclub where we spent the rest of the night. And guys, I could go on and on and on, but I'm already like over 10 minutes. So <laughs> if you want to see how I ended up with this in my hand or how I ended up on this beach swing, make sure you check out my other videos. I have so much information to tell you about this place. It was so much fun. So go check that out. Otherwise, this is the video that YouTube thinks you'll like the most. So make sure you check that out and I will see you in any of the videos you choose to watch. <laughs> see you there.